Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm so excited. I have a surprise guest with us today, Kristen. And of course, Stephanie is here too as well. You guys know Stephanie. I'm so, so, so excited, guys. And I'm, before we get started, I know that neither one of these ladies need much of an introduction, but we have Kristen Lee at Arcana Shores Tarot. You guys, she is a fearless truther out there. If you're not subscribed, please go and hit that subscribe button on her channel. I'm going to put all the links down in my description box as well, guys. And then of course, Stephanie is at Spiritual Perspectives of Our Great Awakening. And I'm super, super, super excited to have two of these spiritual badasses with me today. We were laughing off of camera. I'm sure the three of us have been burned together. <laughs> as witches in the past okay. life before. Yep. So. <laughs> yes, well, thanks for having me. This is awesome. I have been waiting and waiting, just like, oh my gosh, if I'm ever on her show. <laughs> oh, I'm so <laughs> excited. Well, I, my friend Toronto <laughs> sent me, I, I mean, I had been in contact with you before, but then Mercury Retrograde got so yeah, crazy. You guys got in the plane. Yeah. Yeah. And my friend Toronto, <laughs> shout out to my friend D Toronto, who sent me a text message with your episode where somebody asked about my research and, and yes. you read it. And I was so flattered. Like I was <laughs> so, um, I like sat there and listened to it over and over again. And you're like, and the Mr. T card. And I was like, oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I know that was a great reading. Your cards were awesome because I give it to you straight, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's it's all and I and I said I put in the comments, of course, my subscribers know that I have um uh Claire Audio or I hear uh Mary Magdalene, who we who we know is Mary Magdalene. Uh, we now she tells me just to call her Maggie or Magdalene. Um, but she has talked to me since I was 16 years old. And um, and I think that she is really pushing my research. Um, and we, I, we spoke about this earlier today because we were saying, I was saying a lot of people call me a witch, but all I'm presenting is e research guys. That's all I'm presenting. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's just research. So, but Kristen, I want to know more about you. <laughs> How does a tarot card reader in California mm -hmm. become a truther? Well, the thing is, I'm not I mean, I'm from California, but my soul is not like I am very old soul. OK, and I can't help it but want to be in all different places all the time. I get bored so quick, but like I've lived in so many different states. I love all different cultures. I've seen it all. But I feel like when I was around all those different things, I remembered things, downloads. But I didn't know they were downloads because I was a lot younger then. Um, and I had no idea what it was, but I'm like, it just feels weird. I know this person. I've been here before. Mm -hmm. So weird. So as little kids, me and Jason, always dabbling in the tarot, palm reading, <laughs> astrology, numerology, all that stuff is so cool to us. So I don't know. Something got into us. I started pulling cards for Jason about his cryptos. And I guess I had some good luck with him and his personal life. And then he's like, you got to do a channel. So he really pushed me. I did it when I wasn't even ready. But if you watch the first video on my channel, it's so bad. <laughs> Listen, I, I think all, too. Of, all of our first really videos bad. are cringeworthy. Because we're like, where do we? I was go? like, whoa. Hi, my name is Stephanie. Please make sure you don't say bad comments. <laughs> I know. Oh, and they so did. Oh my gosh, the first few. Oh my gosh, you're a witch. You're an East. Oh, you're bad. You're satanic. Yeah. Well, and that's that's the that's yeah. what. And we were talking about that because I get a lot. I'm getting a lot of backlash from the Christians, and it started. Mm -hmm. I was on the Dark Outpost on a live show, and Magdalene said to me, "Read the missing books of the Bible." And so I just said to Zub, like, I was like, should we read them? And he was like, yeah, let's do it. Well, what I didn't know was she was pushing me into a rabbit hole of pulling down these um, held belief systems that are all part of the mind control that right. all come from the same. I'm trying to like tell people like the media, the medicine, the education, the church, it's all the same controllers. Yeah. No, our loving source, God, is never going to throw you into the fiery hit pits of hell. That's not going to happen. Not going to happen. You're too special of a human being. for. Th and I just, it, may, it breaks my heart when pe I feel, pe see people so caught into that fear and bondage yeah. that religion brings them. 
you know, where there's uh, tarot cards are beautiful things. It's a beautiful, and you can, Kristen, you can tell, like, if you feel like your cards are, I know we've talked about this, Stephanie, if you feel like your cards are like manipulated or they're tired, you can, you can feel that. Yeah. 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 Yep. You can get out of that, right? And and then you let them rest and and all that good stuff. So how did you how did you how did you wake up to the matrix? Like how did you all of a sudden? Because we all come through the veil of amnesia. How, what what was that moment where you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, something's not right? Well, actually, as a little kid, I just I really didn't pay attention because I just knew this this is dumb. <laughs> this I don't believe. <laughs> So I'm not going to pay attention. And it's, I'm so stubborn. Like if you want me to do, or tell me to do something like it's bad, I won't, but I don't know. I just never bought into stuff. I have, I have to really feel it. If I don't feel it, I don't believe it. Yeah. So I never, I never did. And I feel like you're correct about all that with the, in the Bible and everything. It's all brainwash control just to keep everybody to obey. Everybody has to be a Karen, you know, yeah. it's not. <laughs> nope. It's so bad. It's so bad. And hopefully in time we can help those that are not awake. I think we will. We are already making a good progress. Big yeah. I think that the, uh, the, and it's not, and we, we talk about the Christian faith a lot. Cause that's how we were. That's for Stephanie and I, and I'm assuming most people watching were grandfathered in to a, a flavor of Christianity. Grace, your but, videos were actually what threw me out. Oh, it's one wow. of the biggest facts. Did I not tell you that? Maybe so. I, I, I always give the credit to like spirit and Magdalene. Like, I really feel like I'm just a conduit. It was of, actually your Magdalene video. No, yeah. no, I'm, your, your Mary Magdalene scriptures or the lost book of Mary Magdalene or whatever it is, the gospel of Mary Magdalene, that's what it was. That was the very, very first video I watched with you. And I was like, uh -huh. wait a second. Okay. Um, if I put myself on mute, it's because there's a lawnmower close by. <laughs> That's and it's coming around. We're just regular <laughs> people sitting in our houses. So. Yeah. <laughs> and there I go on mute. Aww. Yeah, Magdalene, she's quite, I mean, and that's something we're seeing too. I don't know if you've noticed that, Kristen, like most, I mean, your brother's on the channel with you, which is awesome. He's fantastic too. You guys have really great, you can tell y'all have a lot of past lives together and yeah. you know, incarnated as siblings in this life. And, um, um, but there's so many women mm -hmm. and like feminine women. Like all three of us, I think, are very feminine women. Yes, yes. And and it's it's embracing that divine femininity, which we know that the controllers inverted. Right. Mm hmm And it started with the Magdalene. They sold her as a prostitute, as all this kind of stuff that she wasn't. And there's nothing wrong. If you're a sex worker, I don't want to, you know, we all have our own paths. To, I'm, I don't judge with that. But they, no. they took her identity and they butchered it. I know. She was also, she was the twin flame of Yahshua. So she was the same soul. They were both the Christ. And when we say that, we're saying that they, they enacted that Kundalini, that Christ consciousness that all of us have the ability to do. That's all they were telling you is you're, you're so special. Like, don't you see how special you are? Like yeah. you, you are a child of the most high. Don't let anybody tell you any differently. And that's, isn't that such a beautiful that's way more that's way more beautiful than like mm -hmm. what the church tells us right? right and it's it's it feels right because it is yeah and that, you know and god is of love and light he is not a he's he's not of torture and brutal things you know like yeah I don't buy into all that stuff. Mm -hmm. well, that's what that's what that's what I keep wanting to shake people. And we can actually, if you guys want to pull cards, I know we've talked about sure. this before, <laughs> but um, so <laughs> Stephanie and I, you know, I've I've been led to find all these grimoires, and these grimoires, grimoires are spell books, and it started right, with Comic Con. You hear that? No, it's fine. We can't hear. Oh, it. okay. <laughs> 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 not today, Satan, not today. Um, um, uh, I started with the Necronomicon and then I, I found like the lesser key of Solomon, the key of Solomon, the grand grimoire, and then Mo the, the sixth and seventh book of Moses. And so these spell books really spelled it out that um, the God of the Bible is Lucifer, not source. And if you look at Revelation 21, 
it's where it confirms it because it says at, at the end of Gog and Magog, which is where we ascend, the other God comes back and will make things anew. And there will be no such thing as death and no such thing as pain anymore because the contract with Lucifer is over. So can we pull cards on that? Wow. Are these grimoires telling us that, and that's why they hid them from us, that, I mean, we've, I know we've looked at this in other videos, but let's just look at it. Since we've got two, two terror readers Ooh. right here. <laughs> Double power. And me and the amateur just playing with my cards, pretending like I'm as cool as you guys. <laughs> so I'm pulling on the grimoires. If um if the grimoire is coming out at this point is verifying that Lucifer is the god of the Bible. The jealous god of the Bible that demands blood sacrifices and Yeah. Yeah. Well, my cards my cards really kind of played it out. So here's the tower card. This is this is the Lucifer, I would say, because he wants this. He wants destruction, evil, death. Yeah death, everything imaginable bad. Um, and then we have the six of cups in reverse. So he doesn't want giving people. He doesn't want love. Mm -hmm. It's all negative. It goes all negative. And it also has greed, greed, illness, greed and illness, diseases, cancers, all of that. No cures. They don't want cures. So it's all here. Like it's showing me that's how they want it. And that's, all the stories in there are trying to say that he, he's brutal and he's evil and bad. All those bad things. He's not. The, the real, the real, yeah. The real one is this. And then the bottom row shows us the real one. Very high. This is intuition. Yeah. This is all, this is a very religious card. I don't know why some people use this as a bad card. The high priestess. It's the yeah. divine feminine. It's intuition. It's psychic ability. It's beautiful. It's women. You know, yeah. we had a major role. Oh, we did. And we, yeah. we we're coming back. We're coming, we're coming back. back full force. <laughs> yeah. Magdalene's re lead leading the charge. Always, She's always right here. It's always point here. Yeah. Like you guys can see her. She's the one. And she's, she's a, she's a sassy broad. I love her. She's a sassy I broad. I love her. <laughs> and that, that's in all of us too. All of us powerful women. We are sassy because we don't stand for it. We give it to you straight. Mm -hmm. And this is it right here. It's the temperance. It's the angel. This is him. Yeah. This is our all loving God of love and light. Yeah. So all those little stories in there about destruction and all evil stuff. He, he was never like that. Mm -mm. No. That's what Lucifer and we think about. That's what they do on their little play islands where they yeah. go and play. They're doing the same. They're doing all the things that were done in the Bible. Oh. <sighs> Like connect the dots, right? Yeah, yeah. What you get? I'm started? actually gonna learn from you, Kristen, because the three of swords. When you said greed, I'm still learning. I've only been reading since October, so this is interesting because you've been yeah. reading for a lot longer. So, Not yeah, that I played with them for for a while. <laughs> and yeah, then it in, but I'm you know I do it with just my intuition. Like I always yeah. tell people, forget the book. Your little yeah, guy. I'll read. I'll look at the, the the picture and it creates a download, and I'm like, that sounds right. All right, I'm gonna try to do this without the lawnmower getting really loud in the background. So I'm getting um the same as Kristen. This is telling me a little bit of a story. Well, not a story, but kind of. We got some other details here. So number one, we're always told God is a judging God, right? Like God is going to judge you. And either you go to one place or another place. And I literally got the judgment card. Wow. So, and in addition, and I'm playing it off like, like literal judgment, like a judging God. And that, that would be my Lucifer card right here. You were saying Karen's earlier. That's what I got. Lucifer ain't nothing but a Karen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He wants us, Lucifer, the God of the Bible wants disappointments. He wants us to have setbacks. Mm -hmm. um, he wants us to look at the cups that are spilt rather than the cups that are full, right? Yeah. So it's always this mentality of glass half empty type of thing that that predictive programming that is instilled in us since we were born, correct? Right? Yeah. So and true. I feel like this is like the King of Swords is kind of like the pastors that we see that they're kind of animated. Okay, they're really animated. Yeah. They get up there. 
they do this whole like this is like because it's aspected with the four of cups it's like somebody talking to you and in, in putting in this predictive programming of disappointment like there's nothing fulfilling about it because we have the cups that are empty there this person is telling you about the cups cups that are empty rather than the cups that are full does that make sense there's, i think pastors are spell casting too yeah they're, they're which, not, they're spell casting and in king of swords i mean the king of swords is aspected well could be very intelligent and integral and actually a beautiful person i actually this is kind of like my mr t card when i'm pulling on stuff like that because uh -huh. he's cutthroat he's not he no nonsense no bullshit but yet he's for our highest good so in a reading with him he'd probably be aspected well however with this i'm getting this is a brutal person this is somebody that is um narcissistic right yeah he wants to block any kind of happiness anything that is of our highest good any kind of celebration um yeah. and in addition to that i feel like the cards are telling me too that there's the, the queen of pentacles so the queen of pentacles i'm getting is not only is there a male aspect of god but there's a feminine aspect of god and guess what that was blocked out too yeah that was actually going to be my next question because I know that there are some truthers and, and, and I say this in the most loving way possible because I think the three of us know this and I think a lot of our viewers watching right now are friends. I, I don't even like calling them viewers because we're all yeah. on the same team, right? Like we're all the same battlefield together, you know? Um, I, for all of us as human beings, we come to planet Earth and we go through this, we agree to do this. We made an agreement and we go through this veil of amnesia. And so for the first part of our lives, I think leading up to this moment, like you said, Kristen, like you recognize things, you had downloads, you didn't know what they were because you're trying to clean up the cobwebs of the amnesia, right? And so I think that is, even as truth truthers, there we I think we understand that there's still some programming in us that's going to come up against a wall too, right? We are aware of that. Well, I think a lot of the truthers are still kind of brainwashed into the church, if that makes sense, even though their intention's good. And I know some truthers out there have been talking about the satanic Sophia. Oh. If you guys are not reading the Sophia Code, you absolutely, I've been doing it on my channel. This is one of the most beautiful, profound books that I've ever read, read in my whole entire life. Wow. Oh, you're muted. <laughs> I want to say something about that book. I I, I'm in the middle of reading it right now. I'm halfway through. Every time I get done, so it has, um, what would you call those ending segments? Like an initiation, an right? Activation. It's, a, it's supposed to activate you. So there's key codes um, that unlock stuff from your DNA. Every time I get through, so there's different ascended masters. It starts off with Isis, then it goes into Hathor, then it goes into Green Tara, Mother Mary, and so on and so forth. But each time I am, I, complete an activation a key code it's the weirdest thing because the downloads get really real like mm. it's mind-blowing so the mind writer the woman who wrote this book is a survivor of the controllers <laughs> of the club the the, the dark ones I love the censorship of, censorship of YouTube. <laughs> you, you guys know who we're talking about and she talks about that in the, in the beginning how she was sold uh, for rit ritualistic um, ceremonies, all that kind of stuff. Oh, wow. And so she talks about her life and how she learned how to channel through their abuse. But then she's all of a sudden started channeling this for everyone's highest good. Now, Sophia is the name of the divine mother. Okay. So if we're looking at God, we've been taught about a patriarchal God, but God is not human. And so God consists of both energies of mother and father and sophia is the divine mother aspect of god now again a lot of truthers out there saying that this is all demonic so can can you give it to us straight Kristen and stephanie yeah. is this so like that question yeah. is it demonic? i don't think so but, but. I, I want people to kind of ponder upon this too a father can't birth right okay right. how can a father god birth a soul you still need the womb of the mother and she talks about that, that she is the womb, the loving womb of creation. And she, in this book, she talks about how we live. Get this, guys. She calls this that we are now in the golden age of miracles. 
Dr. Magog going into the golden age. Golden age. And that we are, I mean, there is stuff like I started sobbing. I, I'm, I'm known to cry on my phone. Oh. <laughs> I started sobbing reading this because there is, um, there is so much in here um, that is just, it just, it just resonates with what's happening right now in our, um, like she says here, my presence is never judging you. It's never judging you because she loves you as a mother would love her child. Um, yeah, you're, she talks about how we've lived. Like I underlined this, you're now reading this text for an important reason. You are finally ready to receive the truth of your sovereign uh, divinity and to cast off the deliberate forgetting and hiding of your true nature. I mean, it's just so freaking lovely what she's saying. And of course people are afraid of it because it, it, it counters what the church has told us, you know? And so that's scary. I understand that can be scary. It's, it's not satanic. Nope. Did not think it, so. No. Oh, my it's, cards are amazing uh, here. They just want you to think that. They're just trying to get as many people as possible to not buy into that, into the truth. Because it okay. gives us our own sovereignty. Yeah. It control us. Yeah, because this, this is what it's about. It's about love. Love, light, strength, good health, happiness, four wands. Yep. They want to keep us down, our mm -hmm. vibration down, everything, so that we can't all be one and be feeling like at our highest. You know, they want you as low as you can go. And they remember, just, guys, the demons feed off of loosh. So when they keep you low and they keep you afraid, yes. you're there. You're their McDonald's. Exactly. They feed off of you. Yep. It's it's bad. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. That's exciting. All right. So I pulled out my light sears deck because I felt called to. So I got the page of wands to start off with, and I'm feeling like. This is information that comes at you uh, and it's magical. Like I'm literally getting like wands, magic, right? And why I mean magical for the highest good. So it's like it, it's next to the 10 of cups. So this is bringing your vibration high, higher. This is, um, again, it unlocks parts of your DNA that have been locked for so long. Yeah. So I feel like the wording coming from it is unlocking happiness it's unlocking um, more of your spiritual self it's unlocking um downloads i mean this is a page of wands so that could be downloads right yeah. so also too i have the nine of pentacles so nine of pentacles i often feel like it's a very earthy card especially with a lot of tarot decks like i feel like it's a very grounded card i know pentacles oftentimes talk about money but the nine of pentacles to me and the I mean, look at her. She's got the bird. There's a lot of green. And the, the regular tarot, she's got a bird on her mm -hmm. shoulder. So it's like grounded with earth. So it's kind of bringing you back to Mother Gaia. So Mother Gaia is like that physical aspect of Sophia. She birthed herself as this, whatever a planet is, because we don't know at this point. But, <laughs> but it's, it's no idea at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like it's just allows you to connect like there's a connection with this the physicality of the planet which is the physical aspect of what we would call uh, mother sophia mother guy and mother earth right mm -hmm. because the, the feminine oftentimes comes in the physical like that and then we have a lot of strength around this we have the lion right mm -hmm. um so that's an integral card that's for someone's highest good and also too you know we have the nine of cups nine of cups is like that's an abundance of love right there. That's something you would wish for, something you would hope for. This is um, the love that it throws at you. So I, I have no negative cards here whatsoever. Oh, we call the Nine of Cups, uh, Kristen and the Raider, uh, Raider White, the regular tarot deck that a lot of people use. Yeah. We call that the John Travolta card. <laughs> the dude sitting there looks like looks Josh just like him. We're like, that's it's a John so Travolta card. You're right, it does. Uh, we have, we have names. Yeah. It's the John Travolta card, like Saturday Night Live, just feeling alive. Yeah, this one, right? Yeah. 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 
Yeah. Um, I'm going to call it that too. <laughs> awesome. We're going to start a new trend. I know. We're we're all re- renamed. <laughs> um, so, well, this week's because the first, so, and I had an awesome subscriber leave a very heartfelt, honest comment on one of my videos and you were so raw and your vulnerability. I just, loved your comment because you expressed how you were really um, having a hard time with the whole ISIS thing. Cause we've been taught that ISIS and Osiris were satanic. We've been taught, uh, we had a lovely little member of the club name a certain group after ISIS to program us to see this as a bad thing. And I totally get, I totally understand that everything's been flipped. And so, and, and, and as I told this subscriber, like, these, these things do take time and it's okay to be in a space of, I don't know. It's okay to change your opinion when you're presented with, but it's okay. Not, you don't have to know right now. You can be in an ever evolving, um, transitional space, but can we, for those people who are struggling with the ISIS and Osiris thing, um, can we pull and ask, was ISIS, was this priestess hood? Cause it was mainly a priestess hood of ISIS of the women and the Osiris was the masculine, was this Egyptian, uh, I don't want to say religion, because I feel like religion's a bad word. I feel like Egyptian, it was more- an Egyptian um, order or order Egyptian- spiritual teachers, um, were they negative or were they for humanity's highest good um, with Isis and the Osiris? And um, as, as our friend Cindy has said, many people, there's a, there's a, some people don't think Isis ever really existed. Some people do. Um, I believe she did because I think she was a queen at one point and she actually served her people in a very positive way. She was the queen of cups. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. And it is for the highest good. Definitely. She comes through to me as a healer. Yeah. Yeah. In the Sophia code, when she speaks through the channeler, she talks about understanding, and I'm totally paraphrasing guys, um, understanding that um, she had a duty to her people to make sure that they, it was like her as a ruler, her, she was the one that carried the responsibility to her people to make sure they were healthy or happy. It kind of makes me emotional because we don't have that in our world. That's not how our leaders are besides Mr. T. Yeah. I it's right on with what I have here. And then Meaning, she, happiness, healing. Yeah. And then she passed that on, that teaching on to this priestesshood that continued for many generations to then teach people, heal people. Yeah. Wow. So I got that. Yeah, she did. She did pass that on. Right. Through the lineages and everything. Um, I actually feel like that's all going to come back to. So. <coughs> I have the temperance card, which tells me that she was, or this, I don't want to talk about just ISIS, but just in general, the, uh, the priestesshood itself was very spiritual. Um, and I feel like with this card, it's saying it's for the light. It's not the devil card. This is like what the opposite of the devil card. So this is of light. And I mean, she's wrapped around in all these different colors and she's up in the sky and there's light behind her. So I just, I feel like that this is a very, very positive card. Again, the controllers have tried to put a halt to her teachings and manipulated it. But um, she, I mean, if we're talking about her being a queen, I mean, she very well could be because I mean, we have a lot, this is like abundance right here. Um, and then we have celebrations. So, I mean, again, these are all positive, positive cards. Um, I feel like this is talking about a group of people that actually celebrated, they celebrated life. They ser- celebrated fertility. You have the Ankh cross that's fertility. Um, mm-hmm. that's the connection between God or source and, uh, the, the human being. Right. So I feel like this is saying there was celebration within that community because they all were were balanced. They were balanced with um, their their spiritual. How do I how do I say this? Their spiritual teachings. They were everything that they did was for the highest good of the community. And again, 
Mm-hmm. It was passed down. I feel like we are yet to read books that talk about more about the teachings. There's lots of books about the teachings, but I think going forward, <laughs> a lot of the more information is going to come out because there's things that about her story, I feel like were manipulated just like the Bible. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's some, there was some stuff that I'm just like, yeah, that's kind of like the whole mother Mary thing with the immaculate conception. Cause that's satanic. Yeah. Same thing with ISIS. Like, the things about the Osiris and yeah, that whole thing. It's just a little bit like, okay, this is definitely manipulated. But anytime I've tried to um, connect with the ISIS, you know, energy, I always get positive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, maybe that could be the next question. Um, because I know we've talked about immaculate conception a lot. And um, that's a big belief in the Christian faith and all the missing books of the Bible that I've read that we can get our hands on say, absolutely not. Right. Jesus, Yahshua was human conception with, cause remember guys, consent, consent, consent. What mm-hmm. they do in the d- sex magic and the dark side is they use, I mean, think about eyes wide shut and they call in these demons. That's a succubus or an incubus. That's immaculate conception. So the, the beautiful making love to someone you love and it creates a life that's of God. So let's just verify mm-hmm. that with the cards of spirit. will give it to us straight about um, were these positive entities with uh, Isis Osiris, with uh, the person we know as Mary and Joseph, were they a sex ritual through immaculate conception or were they the positively aspected sex ritual of two human beings being in love with each other and creating a baby? If that makes sense. So I'm going to ask if, can I first ask if their stories were manipulated? Sure. Because, Wherever you want to go. Because the cards, the way we word it can be, I don't know. I'm just going to, as the Ace of Swords flies out at me. I mean, I what is the Ace of Swords? Truth, right? Like, Yeah, I got the Ace of Swords too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we know it's manipulated. <laughs> yeah, manipulated. So, sure. Let's see. Was yeah. So was Isis and... The Mother Mary story, was that all immaculate conception then? Or was it human beings being in love with each other? Because we know that Isis, yeah. mm-hmm. that that Mother Mary or Alma Mari, which we found might be her real name, Alma Mari, uh, was possibly an incarnation of Isis. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So it, they, they have, their stories kind of mirror each other in a lot of ways, although I don't think Mother Mary grew wings. <laughs> but Isis did. Oh. But she didn't. <laughs> so that must suck to be like, you know, you had wings in one life, but you don't get them in a <laughs> I know. Man. I'm getting it was of love between two human beings. That's yeah. what I'm that's what the missing gospels say too, guys. Actually, in the, they call it the gospel of the Holy Twelve now, but the original title was the gospel of the Nazarene Way. It starts off where... Um, the angel that told Mary she would conceive a Christ also goes to Joseph and says, you need to go to your wife. He tells him to go to her. So mm-hmm. that's a polite way of saying he went to the bed with her, guys. He aced a, cu- yeah. he aced a cupster. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. And, you aced the- aced a cu- <laughs> and then you got the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> a full family, all abundant in love. It's all of love. Beautiful. I'm getting love too. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like that made up story of, oh, she's just pregnant all of a sudden. Yeah. And let's be real, guys. At that time period, yeah. people brought this up. If a woman was not married and got pregnant, she would have been stoned to death. Like, let's be yeah. let's be real about this. Like, we well, gotta be logical. Christians say she was well protected. <laughs> there's um, always there's always an answer. There's yeah, and always an answer for the agenda. Yeah. No, she was. She, I mean, I I don't, I mean, obviously I don't, if you have a kid out of wedlock, that's fine. I don't, I don't believe in that whole, you have to, you know, that was, but, but back in that time, that culture. Okay. That is awesome. So can we ask about Osiris then? Oh, do you want to know what I got? Oh yeah. Sorry. (laughs) I'm I'm so excited. Of course. Me too. (laughs) I always say we're like the boxcar children or like Nancy Drewing the past. (laughs) Well, you know what I was thinking of when you said, oh, you had a kid out of wedlock. I don't care. Listen, I've been a rebel all my lifetimes. Like, I had to do something bad in this lifetime. Come on. Not bad, but, you know, 
rebellious okay so that was my yeah. rebelliousness okay no, that, it, i can't stand that that old idea yeah. that you have to be like married like every human life is valuable yeah. comes in when it's supposed to yeah it's so, a gift it's it a is. beautiful gift yeah so i got the empress card and I got, I got the Three of Pentacles card. Now, normally this can be either or, but I'm getting that there was multiple bodies consenting because pentacles are physical. Mm -hmm. But this is more or less with love, collaboration. You know what I mean by collaboration. Oh. And of course, the Empress <laughs> card <laughs> is a mother. The Empress card is fertility. The mm -hmm. Empress card is a very very high being like in the deck that is of the feminine yeah and we have the strength and we have the nine of pentacles i mean these are very loving beautiful cards and it was for the highest good of creation it was for the highest good of the world so that right. sun card makes everything good so this is a pure love and of course if we go on a divine spark there's your solar plexus that's the solar you know, in your body of the feminine. When the, I know when the sperm hits the egg, there is a literal spark that happens. Like a literal spark happens guys. And that is, that's, that's your essence. That's um in the yoga sutras and uh, uh, Sri Swami Chachitananda's commentary on it. He speaks about the more you start to recognize your own spark and your own soul. You also start to see that in other people too. Yeah. See that light in their eyes. And that's what makes humanity unified that's it's, true it, regardless of what your culture is i mean when i'm in india mm -hmm. i'm working with children that look nothing like me they're they're indian hindu but you mm -hmm. see that spark of life and then you realize we're not so different mm -hmm. oh no it doesn't matter what yeah color nothing nothing no, we're all, we come from the same exact source yes we are unique. We are different in all sorts of ways because then humanity would just be boring. Robots. It's so boring. Oh my but God. we come from the same story. Yeah. So it's like any kind of relationship. You want to have some differences to make it interesting. But you also want some similarities to realize there's a connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. We're all, I mean, that's why, I mean, I, I love literature and art and that's why, regardless of, you know, we know our timeline's all jacked up, but regardless of when things were created or written or painted, we can still connect with art from a hundred years ago because human beings, we're still this, we're still dealing with the same human condition. And that's how we, we, it doesn't matter if you're a child in the slums of India or a millionaire in Beverly Hills, grief is grief. Yeah. Love is love you can that empathy and you start to see that with another person and that's just such a beautiful thing and i feel like they've just done such well in fairness to them a good job of trying to destroy that inside of us and then we said oh no 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 we're going to turn the ship around <laughs> yeah, exactly i know and you're so right they really did i mean a lot of the older generation very old school you know mm -hmm. you know they're all against all that you know mm -hmm. yeah oh absolutely so, but i mean it's it's sad because it's just not like that. That's not how it is. Mm -mm. There is love in people's eyes. It doesn't matter what color. Man, or religion they all have to or come together. Yeah. And hey, like look at all the good food that comes from all the different cultures too. That's so true. That's <laughs> you know? I'm a big foodie, so Me too. I'm all about the food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's so much out there. The That's why I got my chunky cheeks. <laughs> hey, I Oh my gosh, I could eat. Mm, I love food. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh yeah. I'm sure I have a feeling when, we, when all this is done and we all get to celebrate, because I actually think that all of us all over the world are a lot closer than they than they tell us we are. I think they just like suspend us in the air when we're flying. I do. Yeah. I, I think actually, like, you guys want to hear something weird? So I was yeah. driving the other day. We were driving down the main road. I was going to the store. I had my son with me. He's 15. And... He goes, mom, mom, look, look. There was a plane just lounging in the sky, not moving. Exactly. Just, okay. just, just hanging out. And then suddenly, bam, gone. Oh, that's what I'm telling you. Exactly. And I was just on a plane last night to come home. And I'm telling you, it took so much longer than to get to Missouri. It took us two hours flat the other day on Sunday. 
or Monday. And then yesterday, no, it was over three hours and a half. How does that what? make sense? Like he was sitting still. I was meditating. Yeah, I'm, we weren't going anywhere. <laughs> I, okay. That makes me feel, cause I, I, you know, go, I go back and forth. I was going back and forth to India. That's a long travel. I've been to Australia. I've been, I've, I've been, I've taken very, been very fortunate in my life. I'm very grateful that I've had these opportunities, but I'm sitting here thinking, holy shit. Like we have friends in South Africa, Aquarius Rising oh. Africa. I keep joking that I could probably just paddleboard over to them. Like, I what if what if we're like literally could just canoe over to Australia? Like, what if like they've totally? I'm all for it. No, I'm all for it too. You I have a big map up here. It looks possible. Can we ask that? You all want to take? Do you all want to divert into that and ask? Yeah, yeah. We'll ask. 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 Yeah, are we? I guess the question. question B: Are we closer to each other geographically? Then they tell us. Is that a good question, or does it need to be worded, worded differently? That's perfect to me. Yeah, yeah, that works for me. Yeah. Closer all the constants. Oh yeah. The hierophant, the six of cups. Ooh. It's giving me a yes. Wow, and manipulated by the dark, deep. Those sneaky little bastard. And as you said that I had it, I have two aces, actually. Yeah, totally. And I know that guy, that pilot yesterday, I know he was just sitting there, just like you said, he was parked in the sky. Yeah. Well, don't pilots now just go literally on autopilot? Like they just are there to manage in case something. I think so. I mean, yeah. if, if, and I've watched a lot of people talk about like flat earth and all that kind of stuff. And they always bring pilots on that are kind of whistleblowers where they'll tell you that, yeah, the earth isn't what they tell you it is. And those sneaky sons of bitches, we paid all this money for these tickets and we could have literally just canoed over. Like what? What did think? This map is a bunch of bull. It's a bunch of bull. Okay. Okay. So here's a question. And I've been posting these articles on Twitter. Yeah. They're finding roads, Ooh. funnily enough, yellow brick roads under the ocean. Oh. Do you want to know? My oh, sorry. I'm so excited. I'm mean, so excited. Oh, I'm like, I, I knew it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I, I, I just, I'm just like, my mind's blown because I've had these assumptions and I'm like, <sighs> okay. But I, and I'm, I'm happy that other people also have had these assumptions too. Like I'm not the crazy one over here. Like, oh, no. I think they're closer. What do you got, Stephanie? Okay. <laughs> so I'm literally getting that we, I'm getting the two of cups as like, closeness you know what i mean because it's with the ace of um <coughs> wands and then i get another ace and then i get the sun card so we got three like happy cards there that are saying yes to the question again the dark ones at the higher font is is coming to me as more like the controllers like like the religious controllers which are at the tippity top of the pyramid right yeah. and we've been working on suspending you to think like literally suspending Wow. airplanes or suspending or like making you sleep putting you to sleep zombifying you to, yeah. to not think anything of it because it's weird I, I, you know i haven't been on a plane in a long time but i remember flying as a kid and i would just look down and i'm like we're not moving are, are we gonna are we gonna fall out of the air but that makes you think is gravity even real well if if oh. The earth is flat then that's a whole other that's a new discussion there's no about there's no yeah. gravity so it's an electromagnetic pull that brings you down and so can we i mean do y'all want to look at that we can talk about the roads later but do you want to ask is gravity a real thing i mean the newtonian like i mean that's wild to think about because our whole life we have been gravity 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 and now we're like wait a minute wait a minute <laughs> um, yeah let's see and i'm not a science person like that's not my wheelhouse i'm, a, I'm more yeah. of a researcher into the spiritual and artistic stuff but but back mm -hmm. in the day the scientists and the the spiritualists were the same people so maybe this is us coming back into what we're supposed to be hmm i'm getting that it's not all 
it's not what it seems. It's what they've taught us isn't all true. So there is, I mean, gravity is a thing, but it's not all. There's something else. There's something else. That we probably don't even have words to describe it than that other thing because they haven't ta taught yeah. it to us. Yeah. That's oh, this opens up so many more questions. <laughs> this is why the rabbit hole goes deep. <laughs> yeah, it's some other energy, and it's it's of the light, but we don't know. I don't know a name for it, but it's a very um, like a soulful light. Like, oh, what could it be? It's I something think I know. Energy. What did you get? All right, well, Kristen, are you done? I want to stuff like. Oh no, you go ahead. Okay, no, that's all I got. Well. I get the high priestess with the four of wands. So it's like kind of like what you got. It's, it's like it, it's something that pulls you to the ground, but it's not necessarily what they're talking about yeah. because of the high priestess. The high priestess is like secret. So something is hidden. It actually is going to come out because we have the justice card here. Cool. So karmically it has to be put out to the public. Um, <clears throat> But I'm also getting something to do with literal stars, like literal stars. Nice. I don't know. Like you said something of the light, something of like, how did you word it? It was like, yeah. it's like the earth has a partnership with the stars. It is spiritual. It, I feel it's spiritual. Yeah. It's, it's something of the light. Like it's beautiful, but I don't, yeah. I, it's good. So of course they don't want us to know. Like, I feel like the stars and the planet balance each other. Like, there is an exchange. Yes. I and our stars too. are like our higher selves. I, like, I've been getting that a lot lately. Like, yeah. something to do with our higher selves. So when we get our light body, you know how it says in the Bible, one of the places in it, I think this part is actually true. The stars will fall out of the sky. Yeah, that's us getting our light bodies back. All of mm -hmm. our fractals that have been hidden in the earth, if we've been tortured and you know, that they've tried to harness our energies. It's all going to come flying back at us and create this beautiful. Yeah. And also we're light beings. So who's not to say also that, that, that spiritual light force you were getting has to do with us on the planet as well. Definitely. With the yeah. Schumann resonance. I was going to ask too, does this also, this secret thing that we're not hundred percent sure about, does this have to do with portals too on the earth? Because when a plane is suspended, is it being held in a portal? And mm. we, know, I believe that the uh, the club, the people, the controllers mm -hmm. travel by portals all the time. Oh That's yeah, my belief anyway. And they are like in Australia in ten minutes. Yeah, you know, and then they're in Paris in five minutes. And part of my understanding is that when all this comes out, oh, I think it's going to take a while for people to like totally not completely just blow their brains because everything is so different. I mean, I feel, I mean, there are people that are still worried about the beer bug and we're like talking about portals. Like, is that what is that is some like idea of working with like the, because I feel like when we come to earth, mm -hmm. I had a friend in a yoga role once that made a kind of a funny joke. He said, what if walking into the light is you just coming down another birth canal through somebody else's vagina? Like you're back again. <laughs> Just oh another Please give like, me a break. Come on. I was like, oh my God, what if he's right? <laughs> oh my gosh, it makes you think. Yeah. Yeah. Like, is it like something to do with this work with portals? Because I that's something we don't really understand because it's been so held from us. This information of how we can move our bodies, um, something that's based in matter can then it is. It's being it, the, the portal stuff is completely hundred percent. And that's all being kept from us by these guys. But like you said, it's all going to be known. It's all going to be known. Wow. Dark your, and light. Your cards gave me chills because I got something very similar. It's crazy, right? I know. I well, you know I what? You start to doubt the cards sometimes. You're like, yeah. is this like real? Like, I do, are, are these did. accurate? I'm and then sure. you pull cards with somebody and they get the same thing as you. And you're like, never mind. I take back my doubt. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Exactly. Same wavelength. Yeah, let's see what you got. This is like, I, I don't know how much like you can get more accurate in terms of card reading when it comes to portals. The moon card with the two of pentacles. Wow. So it's like, 
underlying surface, underneath the surface, out of sight, going from one place to another, right? Or even timelines, right? Because yeah, oftentimes this is yeah. like my timeline card yeah. where multiple timelines are converging. So it's like, this is, this to me is portals. <coughs> and then I have the world card, which literally around the world. Um, and controlled by these guys. Yep. The patri the patriarch patriarchal, I can't talk at all today. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The powers that be, the controllers. The yeah. bloodline family. Oh, I think we cracked it. Those little shits. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> but I'm super excited. We can all burn our passports and then just hop around the world. Go to Paris no, for lunch. Have one. I'm not going to get one. <laughs> no, go to Paris no. for lunch. Uh, Mexico no. for dinner. Like, you know, that would like be the best ever. And we oh go see all of our friends. They've tried. And I think this is part of their, they're keeping us yeah. apart from each other is like, yeah this illusion basically that we're so yeah. far apart and, and they really apart. wanted us apart during this last couple of years. Oh yeah. yeah. Hardcore. Yeah. Especially, yeah. Especially the spiritual <coughs> people. I mean, they're all over and they're all catching on. Like there's yeah. so many truthers. I'm so proud of them. <laughs> they're from everywhere. Like you said, India, they, I have a ton of them. Yeah. But I can't believe it. It's worldwide. I get so many comments on my videos from people like in the smallest countries everywhere. And I'm like, oh my God, are you the only one there that actually is awake? Like, I want to be like, oh. bless your, but then they have these communities and, um, and it's amazing because uh, I mean, I've got to hand it to, I know as a, I, I'd heard, I don't know if this is true, but I'd heard that because in America, we still have the right to have these that the white hats have been trying to avoid as much um, uprising in the United States as other countries. Yeah. And then when you hear what's going on in other countries with their uprising and their riots, it makes me so proud. I'm yeah. like, I'm so proud of all the humans. Like, and that's what's so amazing about this too, is they wanted a globalist community, but we're kind of doing the same thing, but on the positive side, where mm -hmm. all of a sudden it's not, it's not our country against another country, but it's literal human beings being like, yeah. we were never each other's problem. We are all on the same team. We're all we on the same team. team. Yep. And I'll tell you, the French people I heard, you know, they've been getting, they've been pushing back. And I'm just going to say something to those French controllers. No one throws a revolution like the French. I'd be a little concerned. They're going to pull those, those yeah. guillotines out again. So yeah. um, the French know how to throw a revolution. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Can we ask about the roads under the ocean? Are there Ooh, roads yeah. under the, the ocean? Ocean. What deck should I use? I think this one right here. Let's I know. It. Once you have too many like tarot decks, you don't know which one to choose, especially they if. All, yeah, they all have a little nickname, you know? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> this one's an investigator. <laughs> so this, this should be good. Let's find out about those little roads under the ocean. That's exciting. I know. And the fact that, I mean, no, I believe, I mean, I think some, I think there's still black hats in some of the media, but I also think that there are white hats too, that are kind of, they kind of see this battle going on. And I think they will release some stuff that's kind of made, meant to make you think like, why are there yellow brick roads under the ocean? Mm -hmm. But I don't know if that's real or not, or if that's just them trying to distract us. Like what's. This says, yes, there are yellow brick roads under the ocean. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to. We're going to get to travel under there. It's going to be revealed. It's a, like a new, it's all a new beginning for humanity. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's been hidden for years. Hidden for years by the, the bad. That's unbelievable. Like, so they were actually like, there wasn't water there before, which goes into Noah's Ark, which we believe was the exactly. fall of Atlantis. Yes. This is yeah. there were different paths. There's and they're still existing. They're just under the water. But yeah. That's so exciting. Well, the, the normies are gonna just die. They're gonna crap their pants. <laughs> comes out. Aww. It's all right. We'll go have fun on the little roads. <laughs> we'll go play on the roads while they're trying to like yeah. process everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. Beautiful. I got Mr. T. He knows about it. 
Yeah, it'll be revealed. It's been, it's always been, and they were using it. <gasps> so I think the white hats have control now. Oh my goodness. Like, yeah. that's so interesting. I could probably hear my dog. My dog is the sheriff of the neighborhood. So if anybody walks by, how dare they walk oh. by you know, <laughs> without his permission? <laughs> oh, better than the one I have. Her bark is so high pitched. Oh my God. You probably heard her earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I have a part husky who likes to talk rather than bark, so it's a it's a <laughs> like a howl. And then I have a hound mix, and oh my god, Aww. when he barks, it's like, dude, you really need to put a cap on <laughs> that because no one wants to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> so what did you get, Steph? About these yellow brick roads? Make sure I used my mermaid house. deck for this particular question. Use your what deck? My mermaid deck. Oh, oh, that's that's appropriate. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I felt yeah, I was pulling from my crystal vision deck, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not feeling it. Water. Let's yeah. use the mermaid deck. So I did the mermaid deck. So I automatically, right off the bat, I get that there's truth in this with the ace of swords. Uh -huh. So, um, it had a demise to it. There was a, but also this can mean also rebirthing. Um. Page of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. We're actually going to hear about it probably soon. Right. Uh, there's going to be yeah. some disappointments around it, probably because of what you said, like how are people going to wrap their minds around this? Um, mm -hmm. And I'm getting with the Six of Cups, it probably was used. It's been used through the generations, maybe secretly. Um, because I have the Three of Swords, so it's like a dishonesty. Yeah. You no. Know? Nailed and it's like there's something so i'm getting this four of pentacles i'm getting something i'm actually i don't know if i'm remote viewing this like th there's times i swear i remote view and i'm not sure if that's what i'm doing so i need to talk to somebody that does it because i literally see <coughs> down in the ocean almost like a railway but not quite like it's something not like rails but it's with this four of pentacles, what I'm seeing is like something magnetic holding it down because things float to the surface if they're hollow inside. Right. And with that four of pentacles, four of pentacles is holding on. So I feel like in, in four of pentacles, like four wheels. So something to do like weights or mat, like maybe hooking up with the shoe in resonance of the, of the earth, like something because earth is magnetic. Yeah. That's why when you go to ground yourself barefoot, you're like you're connecting, right? Yeah, that's true. It's like a connection. So this has like got my brain just like spinning. And I have so many more questions now because <coughs> like, I'm being told that this has something to do with Atlantis. Um, so I'm going to put you ladies on the spot here because I know we're coming up at an hour. And I know that you've got clients, Kristen. So I don't want to, I know it's draining. Okay. This is important. They'll understand. Well, <laughs> we got to figure out these yellow brick. And I keep getting Elton John's song in my head, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's, oh. Somebody Wait a second. Wait a second. I just had a download. Okay. What did Christian say heaven has? Golden, Golden Street. Golden Roads. Yellow. So I'm, I'm going to put you guys on the spot here because I'm going to oh. do some more investigating into my research. Wow. Would you two be willing to do another show later on this week that's all about these yellow big roads? Yes. So we can look into Hell yeah. song. We can look that. into Atlantis. I want to look back at the Wizard of Oz. Yes. Um, yeah. They're all clues. They're all that's clues because they have to tell us. They have to tell us. Yeah. And I think you're onto something with the yellow possibly being gold because we know that they love their gold. We know the Anunnaki, the, the bat. We, there's some good Anunnaki. But they're saying that heaven is lined with golden streets. Was that heaven on earth? That's where I'm going with that. Uh -huh. Possibly because it's the ascension into, but I'm thinking it was part of Atlantis. Emerald too. City? Think about Emerald that. Emerald, Emerald City. Ooh. But there was a controller, it, a wizard controlling. And think about it. You oh. have this Oz, it's bright and colorful, <laughs> and the matrix that Dorothy is yeah. in is black and white. Come on now. 
Mm. Let's do it. I I'm in. I'm so in. I, after we hit the stop button, guys, I'm going to talk to them so we can find some time to do this. And I'm actually going to leave the comments on this video. Any violent comments from anybody that's opposed to spirituality, I'm just going to delete. We're not yeah, even going to yeah. that. <laughs> Uh, yeah. so uh it's way and I, I pray that you will bless your heart you'll because it's way more fun on our side we're very loving so <laughs> we don't yeah. judge you we're not judging everybody over here so so yeah. guys if you have any questions i'm going to put this out to the audience too because i always say this this is why i started my channel i wanted to be able to print uh, present research and hear everybody else's feedback because this is what the great awakening is we're all just walking each other home so i want you guys our subscribers to participate in this any questions that you have or insight that you have found regarding these roads under the water. I also have more questions about the Black Sea too, because I know from my research into, we'll say the unicorn country, the country that starts with a U <laughs> by the Black Sea, because we can't see that country on YouTube anymore because that's what the controllers do. <laughs> the one that's fighting the land of the czars right now. Um, I know the Black Sea has a lot of stuff down there too. And people have seen like mermaids. They've seen all sorts of stuff in the Black Sea. And so this has opened up a whole, my the card catalog, the filing mm -hmm. cabinet, my brain is like -da 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 right now. So I'm going to sit down and I'm going to dig a little deeper myself. And I'm going to look back and create some notes before we started filming, we were just going to let spirit take us where it wanted to go. And we took a gnarly left turn, but that's what, that's what <laughs> spirit does. That's what, that's what spirit does. So I'm going to open this up to the audience. Let us know if you have more questions regarding this, or if you know more about the yellow brick roads, Atlantis, whatever, and we will go and do a deep dive into that in a future episode um, for you guys, because this, I, I'm like, sh I'm shooketh right now. I am totally shooketh. I need to like sit down and like, because holy shit, like how exciting is this? Yeah, so me too. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I want to play See, on the thing is, it's so fun. Like it's just to me, like learning about this stuff, like my cognitive dissonance is like gone. I'm at the point where I'm like, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Let's let's dig into this. Like, yeah, we have it's to see, like man. like it's making history really fun now. And I'm like willing to learn for once in my life. Cause like you, Kristen, like, mm -hmm. oh my God, me in school, not my cup of tea i only passed because i didn't want to get grounded because i wanted to go on dates like Aww. in high school and hang out with my friends yeah. so that was the only oh, real boy. reason that you know <laughs> exactly <laughs> I, i'm a lot like you i wanted to get out of it so i did graduate a year early so i just worked my butt off i'm like all right i'm done and then i don't remember anything because i didn't want to absorb it i just passed the test and then that's it <laughs> the only thing I remember is doing in second grade really was this whole research thing on Cleopatra and we had to dress up as the character it was a biography thing and I was so drawn to Egypt I went like overboard with it I had the snake around my oh. arm I had the golden dress I mean I spent a week trying to figure out this oh. wardrobe well I think that that's going to come into the Olympic road too because that's where my brain's going with these old maps we found and like so that's why I'm like, we got to do a part two. Otherwise, this would be a four hour show. So <laughs> we know that Kristen's got a client. And, but I'm going to ask one more thing before we close out. And this is, I like to end it this way. I'm, I got, I was, be, I never pull oracles, but I was being told to grab my Palladian oracle deck. Aww. So obviously, some of the Palladian team members up there want to say something. So I'm going to ask you guys to pull to what does spirit want our audience to know right now in this here now moment? Do you want an oracle or do you want a tarot? I got it's plenty of all. You. It's up to you. Whatever you feel like your guides are telling you to pull from. Um, just whatever message spirit has for us and for our friends that are watching right now. Nice. A message is coming. A good news message. I just got chill bumps. Something I just good. got chill bumps. Like, I literally, my spine went, what did you do? Seriously, I think we're going to crack this case. We, we have a case. To, we're going to investigate everything. This is telling me that's what I feel. It resonates with what we're going to investigate. We came together for a reason. And I think that the, it's the messenger car. Knight of Pentacles. I mean, we've got good news coming. I want to cry right now. I, I have not felt that chill bump since uh, Kristen, like my spine literally like tingly when you said, Oh my gosh, me. that's good. That means you feel it. You feel it. Feel it. You can go first. I'm okay. So, so I just pulled until spirit told me not to. And I think this very much kind of signifies what we've been um, kind of talking about tonight. 
Cosmic Unity is coming. Nice. Look how beautiful that is. Cosmic Unity to the mothership. <laughs> I think I, I love think, that. Now I got chill bumps because I love my ships. Um, I take that to mean though, like we're gonna find our truth too, and that's what's gonna cause unity for us, not just on planet Earth. Again, whatever planet Earth is, um, but with our friends and our family that are off world, off worlders as we call them, the yeah. Pleiadians, the Lyrans, the Sirens. Like we have so many beings around us that are are fighting for us and are rooting us on and. And uh, you have a whole team around you at every moment that their whole thing is to support you through this. It's going to bring universal knowledge. Yes. With the I love card. that card. Those are pretty cards. Wow. Uh, yeah, the Palladian Act, I have it too. It is stunning. Oh. Oh. Absolutely stunning. So the quantum heart, guys, that's what's we're going. We, we go in and out of the quantum. And I, I know Stephanie and I've talked about this. I'm sure you probably feel the same way, Kristen. I feel like we spend when we're together doing these shows, I feel like we're in the quantum. Yeah. I kind of like come yeah. out to go to the grocery store. <laughs> but yeah. so we're going to be moving more into that quantum. And in the quantum, things are just way more loving and make way more mm -hmm. sense. And I think that's where we're headed as a, I mean, look at the back of the deck, guys. It's that whole activation. I love it. Um, I love it. That so was one of my favorite, favorite Oracle decks. Yeah, I'm going to get them. I, I'm, I'm using I one like that. Pretty. I'm going to be using the Sacred Destiny. This is the book to it, but the Sacred Destiny oh, Oracle. Okay. It, it's gorgeous. I just got these. I have a friend who has this deck, and it just so resonates with me in every way, shape, and form. Those, oh, my gosh. I have a story with those. I was living in Long Island. I wasn't even looking or studying this stuff yet. It was in 2019. I was at a TJ Maxx. And I come across the Sacred Destiny, and I was so interested. I'm like, I'm buying these. Oh, yeah. And I walked out of the store. Well, I, that's the only thing I bought. It was like I was uh, so driven with that thing. <laughs> Coming out of TJ Maxx just with Oracle cards is a goal. Like, I, I, mean, like, yeah. I love those stories. I love those stories because that's what spirit does. Spirit has a I sense of humor. That. And the strangest thing, you, we will not, I mean, spirit comes in when it needs to come in, and it does have, and it will... Oh. You know, you expect everything to be so enlightening in the moment when it happens, but it can just be you're at TG Maxx and you see something that's here. It's like this. Pay attention this. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, proceed. I love that deck. <laughs> so I did three cards. So I got abundance. And as you can see, we have beautiful flowers here in this picture. Everything is healthy. Everything is blooming. Um the, I feel like the flowers are representing each and every one of us, right? When we, we bloom at different times because you get some flowers that like to bloom in early spring and then some like the midsummer and some are late summer and some are in the fall, depending on where you live. Where I live, we have four seasons. So, you know, we have different flowers that bloom at different times. The thing is, I always talk about this on my channel, not to compare yourself to another person spiritually because we're all on a different path. We're yeah. all on a different level. The, the, the thing is to go at your own pace and your own speed. So I feel like the flowers are saying abundance is going to come to you when you're ready. Like, and that could be information, that could be money, that could be um, love. Just wait on divine timing because you're, the blooms that, that embody you as the flower will blossom when it's ready to blossom, right? That's what I was getting from that. Um, I have the wisdom card. This is interesting on the subject of underneath the ocean. And mermaids. Wow. And I think we brought some wisdom about the ocean floor, literally, with this card. It's saying. Yeah. So we're on to something. And Jeffrey's girlfriend, didn't she like to hop around yeah. the ocean floor, too, when she tried to make oh. it its own little country? I, with her own I'm kind of getting that's maybe how she traveled the ocean, not just by submarine. And who knows what the submarines can do? Like, can they hook I'm up to... notes right now. <laughs> so yeah. we can ask this next time. So here's this, this is my favorite card of the whole deck. And I'm going to explain why in a nutshell, because this card, when I saw it, my jaw literally dropped, I talked about it on my last video with me, myself and I, but it's the new beginnings card. So here we oh, have yes. these mountains with this sunset. So 20 years ago, I'm not going to go into too much detail about this dream, but in 2000 and oh, what are we in 2002? Okay, so it was right after the attacks, you know, in NYC, okay, that spring afterward, I had this dream in March, and it was about this time period. 
It was funny because I was 15. I knew in the dream when I woke up from it, I was 35 in the dream. I'm 35 now. So I was standing on a mountain that looked just like this. Even that tree was there. Even this tree. And this is what the sky looked like. Identical. Identical. That's crazy. Yeah. (laughs) And, um, yeah, so I won't go into one day I will go into details about that dream specifically, but I'm going to keep it hush hush for now. But this is what it looked like in literally new beginnings. Yeah. So I feel like spirit is saying new beginnings are on the horizon. Like mm-hmm. time to celebrate. Real fast, real fast. Ladies, I am so excited. I'm going to I'm like going to be such I'm going to be nerding out this week to prepare for the Yellow Brick Road <laughs> show because yes. y'all, like y'all, come on, y'all. Like this is <laughs> This is big. This is big. <laughs> and bless, let's just say a silent little bless your heart to all the people who still think NASA is real. <laughs> well, you know what? It's it means deceiver in Hebrew. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does. And it and means- I mean, I, and, and I say that laughingly and but very lovingly because we know that once the, the switch is flipped that all of us watching, not just those with the other, not the three of us with the platform, but everybody watching right now, it's going to be balls to the wall. You're going to be the ones that are down there helping, hugging people, um, being in a place of being super loving and forgiving. I know that people on the other side have all called us names and done awful things to us, but now is the chance for us to show the healing that we've that we've gone through through this because this is a very healing process even though it's it can be very traumatic to find out things aren't what we thought they were there's also a lot of healing that comes with like figuring it out and taking that into your own hands and so that healing is now to be shared with other you know your heart chakra your anahata again the hands are associated to anahata and so just as the heart can be corrupt and mean and that can result in violence from the hands it also can be that loving hand of i'll help you up and i'll hold you and bring you into me and and let you cry it out. And I'll talk you through this so that you understand that everything that's happening is not a bad thing. The crumbling of the matrix is not a bad thing. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. And y'all, we're going to have yellow brick roads. I mean, move over Dorothy. Move over Dorothy. Move over. (laughs) Without the red shoes though. Well, well, the original shoes were silver, which we can talk about that next week too, because the original shoes were actually silver. So, um, And if you ever see Wicked, the play Wicked, which is a fantastic play in New York, it's about what happened before Dorothy got to Oz, and they still show the silver shoes. So, um, anyway, y'all, okay, so Kristen, do you have, I'm putting you on the spot again, do you have a Venmo or any way for people to potentially tip you? Um, you They don't have to, but uh, I do have PayPal or whatever. We, my website or whatever but yeah, send me I, your paypal your website all that kind of stuff and i'm gonna put it in the description box along with stephanie as well because guys this <laughs> channeling has also been fun but i know it takes a lot out of people to constantly channel so if you feel inclined you don't have to but if you feel inclined to get them a coffee or something then i will put all that information down in the description box below along with their channels again please go subscribe obviously both of their channels I'm subscribed to, and I think they're both fantastic. Mm-hmm. And uh, Kristen and her brother, Jason are awesome together. They do a lot of live shows together. So, um, <laughs> so I'm so excited. Thank you for your debut, your debut oh, episode on esoteric oh, Atlanta. You. I've been so excited all day. I was so excited and nervous too at the same time. So thank you. Don't be <laughs> nervous. Nothing to be nervous both, about. You both are my fellow star sisters for sure soul sisters yes yes there you go. Oh, soul tribe, soul sisters. yeah <laughs> maybe one day we can do that we can pull cards and see about our past relationships yeah, that might be fun it. too <laughs> so that sounds good yeah. so see see what stakes we were burned at together no <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. you know? we're like hey you what's that a meme they show with the guy that's about to get like you know, ex- oh, yeah. he's like, he's looking at the other party. He's like, your first time. Like, <laughs> like my God. We've oh my done God. This many times. That's so morbid. But oh, you know, they no. say, they say well-behaved women rarely make history. So I'm not behaved. No. <laughs> so it might've been in times of my life, but no more. Yeah. No, 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 no. We're, we're not rebels. We're not rebels without a cause. We're rebels. With yeah. Us. 
So yeah. exactly, one hundred percent. Rebels with cause. I love it. All right, ladies. Well, thank you so much, you guys, and thank you everybody for watching. Again, everything you need will be down in the description box below. Don't forget to add in your research, what you know about these yellow brick roads, or any questions that you want us to ask regarding the yellow brick road episode in Atlantis, mermaids. The weirder, the better. Don't be embarrassed by asking. I love the weird questions. questions. The weird questions the better. are better. Because they're usually the most true, right? <laughs> so, so anyway, guys, we will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.